All right, welcome into another day in our daily devos in the Psalms. Pastor Rick here, and we are jumping into Psalm 72. Psalm 72, a prayer for the king. So uh, just think about uh, the people in your life that have authority positions, governmental positions, um, and we're just going to read, see what the Bible has to say, see how we can apply it to our lives, and uh, see how... It helps us draw closer to the Lord. So here we go. Verse 1. God, give your justice to the king and your righteousness to the king's son. He will judge your people with righteousness and your afflicted ones with justice. May the mountains bring well-being to the people in the hills hills righteousness. May he vindicate the afflicted among the people, help the poor, and crush the oppressor. I think... These are great things to pray over our leaders, that they would be people that would uh, bring justice and, and uh, uprightness and righteousness and, um, and judge correctly and vindicate the afflicted and help the poor and crush the oppressor. And, you know, like, uh, so some really great things to uh, think to pray about our leaders, whether you agree with our leaders or not, you know, whether you're aligned with what they are um, trying to accomplish or not, prayer is powerful and prayer makes a difference. And so really um, that should be our first and foremost, like we should definitely, when it's time to vote, get out and vote and uh, let your voice be heard and all that kind of stuff. But man, when, when the decisions have been made and things are moving forward, let's be a people that are dedicated to praying for those that are over us. And um, may the fear This is verse five. May the fear, may they, excuse me, may they fear you while the sun endures. And as long as the moon throughout all generations, may the king be like rain that falls on the cut grass, like spring showers that water the earth. Like may they, may, may the effect of our leaders be like rain on the grass and, um, and may the righteous flourish in his days and well-being abound until the moon is no more. So come on. Yeah. Uh, May he rule from sea to sea, from the Euphrates to the ends of the earth. May desert tribes kneel before him and his enemies lick the dust. May the kings of Tarshish and the coasts and islands bring tribute. The kings of Sheba and Seba offer gifts. Let all kings bow in homage to him and all nations serve him. For he will rescue the poor who cry out. For he will rescue the poor who cry out and the afflicted who have no helper. And he will have pity on the poor and helpless and save the lives of the poor. And he will redeem them from oppression and violence for their lives are precious in his sight. Um, and a lot, of, and a lot of these have kind of a little bit of a double, you know, double application to the King of Israel, but also to pointing to Jesus. So it's a little bit almost messianic in its approach where you're looking at the one and true king of Israel forever and ever would accomplish these things to rescue the poor and the afflicted who have no helper and have pity on the poor and the helpless and that kind of a thing. May he live long. May gold from Sheba be given to him. May prayer be offered for him continually. May he be blessed all day long. May, may there be plenty of grain in the land. May it wave on the tops of the mountains. May its crops be like Lebanon. May people flourish in the cities like the grass of the field. May his name endure forever as long as the sun shines. May his fame increase. Let this be true of the Lord in our day. Come on. May his name endure forever as long as the sun shines. May his fame increase. May all nations be blessed by him and uh, call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel who alone does wonders. He alone does wonders. Blessed be his glorious name forever. The whole earth is filled with his glory. Amen and amen. The prayers of David, son of Jesse, are concluded. That actually concludes the second book in the book of Psalms. It's got five books. And uh, I'm telling you what, we are making a lot of progress. You're doing great. Keep up the good work. Uh, So blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does wonders. Blessed be his glorious name forever. It's when God, when God is the king of each of our hearts and God is, um, you know, helping us all grow in righteousness and integrity that where the righteous rule, people rejoice, where the wicked rule, people go into hiding. 
And so we want to be a people that if we're in positions of authority, that we are a people that rule with righteousness and integrity and that we pray for those that are over us and that we support them and believe in them and encourage them and, and hold people accountable and all that kind of stuff. So, um, so blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does wonders. Blessed be his name forever. And the whole earth, Lord, may the whole earth be filled with your glory. Amen and amen. God bless you. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.